you guys, Erica here. I'm back with your third project for tonight's workshop. And I am in love with this card. I'm gonna show you tonight how to make this really simple basket weave um, on your card. We're gonna use the apple of my eye. I love, love, love this stamp set. It's in the 2016 Occasions catalog. We're also using some paper that I've kind of neglected for a while, and it's in the, um, in the main catalog. I can't remember the name, let me look. Sweet Little Things. It is so cute. Look, I love the clouds. All kinds of cute, just really whimsical paper. Um, but the strawberry paper is my favorite, so that's what we're using. And it's actually in Watermelon Wonder color. Um, so that, I, of course, is one of my favorite colors. Okay, so we're gonna start with this little basket weave. You're gonna need to get a scrap piece of paper that you can adhere these on. And these are half inch by six inch pieces of um, craft paper. And I actually used, I'm gonna use two less than I did here because I felt like it was a little bit too big. So we're gonna make it five across and five down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're gonna do a five by five on this. And, um, but that's how many I did originally. I don't know, I felt like it was just a little bit too big. So let's see how it looks with five by five. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start, put a line of adhesive down on your scrap paper, okay? So one, and I'm gonna just leave a tiny bit of space between them, two, Three. Oh, that's too far. Four. That one may be too far too. And five. All right. Now I'm going to take these and we're going to weave just like we did back in grade school over and under, over and under, over and under. Okay. And then so this one went under. So this time it's going to go over this one and under this one over and under over and under you guys when i taught kindergarten we did this in my classroom so don't be intimidated you can do it and i think the hardest part usually is getting the paper to stay in place but if you just adhere that down it's not a problem all right so see how this is going under over under now we need to go over and i'm not pulling them real tight i want them to kind of be loose and one more. And I actually am gonna scoot them down because we're gonna cut this off. So we need to leave a little bit of space there. So let me move them down. And it doesn't matter, um, you know, if they're perfect on the ends because we're gonna cut them. We made them much longer than they needed to be. All right, once you have them in place, you're gonna take your Tombow, your mono liquid and you're just going to place a, a small dot under each little flap and we're going to give it some time to dry that way that it it's not going to come apart um you know if you mail it or whatever it's not going to come apart in the mail these little things aren't going to go flying all over the place all right so what i like to do is put something heavy on top of it that craft paper, I've told you guys before, it does have um, issues with staying together um, if you don't use a really good adhesive. So I'm gonna push that down. And while we're doing that, we're gonna work on the stamping. All right, so we need a watermelon, I mean a strawberry, and this is actually the pear from that set. It's designed to be a pear, but we're gonna make it a strawberry, okay? So this is very vanilla cardstock that I'm using because the the accent color in the designer series paper is watermelon. So, I mean, is watermelon, is vanilla. So we need to use vanilla. All right, so now this is garden green. And I'm gonna just do one right there. And I'm gonna do another one over here. And we'll cut that one out in a second. And then a line. When I did a search for strawberries, I just searched strawberries on Pinterest. I came up with a lot of pictures of strawberries with limes. And I thought, you know, I really like that together. So that's why I decided to do a lime. Okay, so 
I know you guys are going to get mad at me. I hear it all the time that you hate to fussy cut, but guess what? There's no punch for this. I know, boo hiss, but use your paper snips and just go around like you're in kindergarten. I tell, I used to tell my kindergartners, leave a cloud of space around it. See how I leave just a little white edge. Just leave that little white edge and it'll be just fine. Leave a little cloud. And don't turn the scissors, turn the paper. See how I'm turning the paper? That way you'll get a smoother cut. And also cut away some of that excess cardstock like I did. That helps you really get in there and uh, into the places you need to get, okay? All right, now we're gonna have to cut this one. Cut away that extra cardstock and leave a cloud. You guys can do it, I promise. It's not hard. I don't have great cutting skills either, but when you leave that little white cloud, the eye is going to be fooled because they're gonna see the edge of the stamp and not the edge of the white. So even if it is bumpy and messy, nobody's gonna be able to tell. All right, so we left one of those leaves on there. We're gonna take the other leaf and just do like that. And then you need a white gel pen to put some little seeds on here. I love strawberries. We've been eating them a bunch this spring since now they're back in season. My kids love them. Okay, so there's our strawberry. Now your two inch circle punch. We'll punch that lime out. So good news, there is a punch for one of the images. If I can get it lined up. There we go. Now I cut a strip of very vanilla for our sentiment. And I have it on the back of this block. Let me get it off. You're just the sweetest. And I'm using our archival black. And I'm gonna see if I can get it in the right spot. There we go. Back to our banner triple punch. You guys, I'm telling you, I use this punch every single day. Every day. All right, I'm gonna need to cut some of that off. All right, let's go back to, actually, let's put our card base together before we go back to our weaving. So we have a very vanilla card base, and then I have a four inch, by five and a fourth piece of watermelon wonder cardstock, and then a three and three fourths by five inch piece of the little sweet things strawberry DSP designer series paper. All right, so they are waiting for us, ready to put this back together. So let me reach over here and pull this guy back. Should be dry enough. Now I'm just gonna take my paper snips, and remember it's adhered over here, but that's okay. I'm just gonna snip it. I'm gonna snip it off and each one I'm gonna do at a different angle, just to kind of visually give it a fun look, okay? Let's move that out of the way. And now I'm just gonna go over here, do the same thing. And I wanted just kind of a rough look, so I'm not measuring, some are longer, some are shorter. There's no right or wrong way when you do something kind of rusticky like this. All right, so let's put some adhesive right here and adhere that down. And look, I that ended up being bigger. Even though I used less pieces, it ended up being bigger because I didn't push them together. That's okay. So whatever, however you end up doing it, it'll be fine. It still looks good. All right, so let's put our lime first with a dimensional. I hope you guys have dimensionals. If you don't, add them to your order. It's a really, really good add-on. All right, put the strawberry over there with a dimensional. And then I'm gonna slide. Let's, before I adhere this, let's see if it'll slide in all the way. Nope, looks like I'm gonna need to cut it a little bit or maybe move this guy over. Sometimes you have to move things around to get them to fit. Let's see if this now will fit. Come on. Hmm. You know what I'm gonna have to do is cut down that banner because it's gonna stick off the card. So I'm gonna go like that and like that. All right, let's see, I'm gonna go for it. I think it's gonna fit. Let's see. 
Yes. See, I didn't want it sticking out over the edge of the card because then it wouldn't fit in the envelope. All right. Last thing you need is a linen thread bow to follow along with that little rustic-y, picnic -y look. Okay, just make a bow, cut off the little tabs or the little tails, put it on a glue dot and put it right there on your strawberry and you're done. I love this card. I hope you guys like it. That This paper is baby themed. I mean, I think that's what it's intended for, but I am going to use it for a ton of things. I think it's really, really cute. I don't foresee using it for baby things um, personally. All right. Once again, free make and take supplies for this, the note card set, and the flower box if you place a minimum $50 order tonight, okay? And you also will get the free celebration project planner. Make sure you use a hostess code. I'm sorry, it doesn't have to be tonight. I'm gonna give you a few days. Check the Facebook group for the exact date, the cutoff, okay? All right, let me know if you have questions. Check the project sheet for measurements and supplies and let me know if you have questions. We're not done. I have a few more things for you, so stick around. Bye-bye.